Okay, so let's say we're given, in this example, let's say we're given a right triangle, and we know that angle A is 50 degrees, and angle, uh, the side B is 6.7. So again, let's sketch our right triangle. Doesn't matter, doesn't have to look pretty. Okay, just sketch our triangle and label the results. So again, it doesn't matter, A, B, C, and then this is A, B, C. Okay, remember, the corners are the angles, those are capital letters, and then op the side opposite the angle are the lowercase letters. So capital A, lowercase a, capital B, lowercase b, capital C, lowercase c, okay? Now, what do they give us? They give us B is equal to 6.7, and angle A is 50 degrees. Well, right away, we know that this angle here, angle B, has to be 40 degrees, right? Because they're complementary. That's easy, right? So that's an easy one. So B equals 40 degrees. Why? Because the interior angles have to add up to 180. Since this is a right triangle, this is 90. And then if this is 50, this one has, these have to be complementary, which means they have to add up to 90 degrees. So that's 50 and 40. Okay, now, we know one of the sides. Well, we can get the other side by using trig functions, right? So we can use, uh, to get this one, we could use the sine. Well, we've got the hypotenuse here, so we can't use sine, so we could use uh, tangent, right? Tangent of 50 equals A over 6.7, right? A over B. Or we could use tangent of 40, which is B over A, right? So either one of those will work fine because we don't know the hypotenuse. So we can't use anything that has the hypotenuse, so we're stuck with either, we're stuck with tangent, right? Or cotangent if you want, but tangent will work just fine. So let's do tangent of 50. So tangent of 50 degrees equals what? Opposite over adjacent, which is gonna be A over B, which equals A over 6.7, and then of course, we can solve for A, which gives us uh, 6.7 times uh, tangent of 50 degrees, okay? And of course, we can just get our calculator, and what do we get? We get um, 11.5. Here, 7.98. 7.98. So this is 6.7. Do they do zero? Let me see what they have here. Oh yeah, 6.70. Okay, so these are they went out to 10, one decimal place, 6.70, and this is 50.0 degrees. So just want to be consistent. And so this gives us 7.98 as A, okay? So 7.98, now, what about C? Okay, well here, we can use cosine of 50 degrees if we wanted to. So we could say cosine of 50 degrees equals what? Adjacent over hypotenuse. Well, that would be uh, B over C, which equals 6.70 over uh, C. Well, now if I solve for C, that means C equals 6.70 over the cosine of 50 degrees. And again, I just have to go to my calculator and plug it in the calculator and I get 
10.4. Okay, now again, keep in mind, I'm going out to one degree, right? So that means I'm going to three significant digits. So notice the three significant digits, one, two, three, okay? One, two, three. So again, that's just so you know how we're doing this. So it'd be 10.4. Okay, now, now we've got all the answers. We've got C, we've got A, and we've got B, the angle, angle B, okay? So we solved it, so now we wanna check. We already checked for camp, for B, that's, that's easy. You just add up the angles, right? They add up to 180, okay? To check these, you just have to check the Pythagorean theorem. So we take 6.7 squared plus 7.98 squared. And we get uh, 108.5704. So we take the square root of that answer. Oops, hold on. And we get 10.4197. So again, that's close enough because round off here. So it looks like it works out. That's it. Have a great day.